Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quarter. I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quarter, and we're making some sampler blocks this time, having a whole lot of fun. So they're just little blocks that are sitting inside these pairs. So they're pair sampler blocks, and there's 20 different ones, so all these inside blocks are just a little bit different. And we've used two different colours for the pairs so that you get a little bit of colour movement. You could use all the same colour, they could be not green at all, they could be any number of colours. I'm using two greens and I'm alternating them throughout. So we're on to block 10 out of the 20 that we're making. So we've come across here and we're just going to do this one here today. So there is a pattern available through GourmetQuarter.com. It's a downloadable pattern and it comes each day. So we're doing a block each day, which means a pattern and a video each day. So they're downloadable, they'll come out each day. And you're going to get something like this if you're getting the pattern. It's got a picture of the block, it's got how to make it, it's got all the cutting information that you need to know to make that block. So some of the blocks have some similar um, processes involved. We're doing half square triangles and things like that. And also we, we made the little surrounds um, right at the beginning so that we could surround each block as we go. And we popped corner triangles onto some rectangles to make those. And so this particular block that we're making today could have been made as a little nine patch, but instead of having extra joins in there of the same colour, it made more sense to me to make it again with the rectangles with corners on. So I've gone ahead and got some prepared, but I haven't finished this one here, I haven't trimmed them off and things, so that you can see exactly what I've done. So I had my rectangle that would could have been three squares, but it's a rectangle the right size. I've popped my two corners on, so I drew the diagonal line on the white, and I've stitched on the diagonal line in opposite directions, so that when we flip those back, we end up with the piece that we're looking for. So I just need to trim those corners off now, so I'm just going to lay my quarter inch line straight over the stitching line so that I can cut quarter of an inch away from the stitching line to trim off the little corner that we don't need. And then we'll need to press this and then join up our three little pieces to make the block. So I'm going to press into the colour. Now just be careful because we're on the diagonal, we need to be, take a little bit of care when we're pressing because it, does, it could stretch because that's a bias uh, seam that we've done there. So we just want to make sure everything's staying as straight and flat as possible. So I've got my three little strips now to make because I the centre row has got three squares and so I've already joined those together and I've pressed the seams in but it doesn't really matter which way they go because they're not matching up with any other seams on this. So now we just need to join these three pieces together and we'll have our little block. So much fun. I'm just keeping an eye on my seams that they're staying flat. one seam done and we'll pop the next one on as well I think while we're here then we can press the little block Now because there's seams in, in the middle and on the sides there, I don't think it really matters, but I'm actually going to press that seam towards the centre because of the angled seam. They're always harder to press flat than the straight ones. So I think that's looking pretty good. I've got the surrounds already here to go on there as well. So I'll go ahead and put those on and come back and show you when I've got the surrounds just about finished. So I've put my surrounds on and I'm just pressing this final side again. And 
Oh, these blocks are coming up so nicely. When you're pressing blocks, you have to be careful not to stretch blocks, particularly some of these smaller ones. Um, it is easy to do. Just try and let them keep their shape and size as they are. So we'll pop this one up on this is number 10. So exciting, that means we're halfway through already, except for making the pen tops. So it's kind of nice to see all the variety of blocks coming together. I love the alternating the two colours. That was block number 10, and I will see you again with Pear Sampler block number 11.